right guitar mates i hope you are doing well it is jeff back again with another video and of course we are back looking at iron maiden and the song running free from the first album iron maiden not too bad a song to learn this one it, you can get into this fairly quickly the layout and the structure of the song isn't too complicated and the solo you will find isn't too bad at all so if you really want to get into a maiden song this could be the one to start you on that fantastic journey i am going to be looking at dave murray's parts all of the harmony parts that was done by Denny stratton will be featured in my premium channel and also there you will find all of the tablet chain pdf and guitar pro formal and they will be a backing track that are available so you can play along with this and enjoy yourselves which is what it's all about anyway enough of me talking let's get into it and let me show you how to play running free so don't go away Right, what we're going to do is look at the intro that is being played by uh, both guitars on this. Uh, I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down for you. So it goes like this. <laughs> Okay, what we're doing there, we are starting off on an E5 chord. Just do a downstroke on that. We're going to hold that for a whole bar. And then it's going into the next bar. So we're actually going to count one, two, three, four, one, two. And on the end of the two, you're going to play a G5. So you're moving from the E5 there on the seventh fret. Move up to a G5, which is on the tenth fret. And then we're going to move down to an F sharp. And then we get a double kick back on the E5. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two. Like that. Let me do that again. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now we have got now this part, which is the mainstay of the rhythm for this song. And I've got to be honest here. I had been playing this wrong for a number of years. It was only when I recently saw a video, very old video, of Iron Maiden on Top of the Pops. Top of the Pops is an English TV show a long, long time ago. And uh, they was playing on that. Now, I believe they was playing live. Uh, I say that because on this TV show, most of the bands never did play live, but it had that look because you was watching Dave Murray playing on this and you could definitely see that he was thinking about what he was playing. I know it sounds silly, but when they weren't playing live, a lot of bands just didn't care, uh, which you might see if you were uh, top of the pops. So if you Google it, another outing for Iron Maiden and they just didn't care what they was doing. Anyway, what I noticed there was that when he plays this, he keeps the hand low. Because what you're going to do is a, you're going to do an up, down, low. And then, so we got to get this. So it's up, down, up through a triplet, triplet, T, down, triplet, T, down. That's what you want to practice. Triplet, T, down, triplet, T, down, triplet, T. I always played it the opposite way, so I ended up doing an upstroke. I know a lot of people do that. I've seen videos of people doing it where they go. But Dave Murray was playing it the opposite, which obviously is the correct way. That's what Dave was doing, but he's going. So when you play, keep the pick low, then you're ready for the. So triple T, and that's a C5, triple T. To get that click, all I'm doing, I'm just resting my fingers on the strings. Uh, so you get that kind of scraping sound. And then you repeat. One, two, three, four, one, two. So 
So that was the intro. Now what we're going to do is play through the verse. Now, again, as usual, I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down. So it goes like this. <laughs> So, what are we doing there? Well, we're going to start off with a E5 down on the one count. So, we're going to play that. Now, remember what I said about keeping this pick low, because I, again, always used to wanted to bring the pick back up as I was strumming through. But you want to go... Because the first bar is one triplet. So, the triplets are coming on the two and the four the down beats are coming on the one and the three so you get one triple t one triple t one triple t one triple t so we do two on the e5 then we move down to the c and we're going to go then up to the d5 for the second bar Then we go back to the E and we do twice on the E by. Then we're going to change onto the E string and we're going to do a G5. So we get this back seven again. It's a bit noisy there, but when you're playing it. You see me sneaking back to my old ways there. Yeah, very easy to fall into if that's the way you played it before. The key, as I've said, is always keeping that pick low. Don't bring it straight back up. So we get. Then you repeat. That is the verse. So now we're going to do is get into the chorus. I'll play through and I'll break it down for you. So it goes like this. The count is not as bad as it actually looks when you're playing this. So we are going to start off on the one count. One, two, three, four. On the end of the four, we're going to play a G5 up on the 10th fret. Then we're going to go back to the E5. You've got one, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four, four. And then we've got a D5 to an E5. Down to the D5. So one, two, three, four. Then we move down to a C5. And then we've got our kicks back again. So two, three, four. Again, when you do that. Keep the pick low, then you're ready for that to come back on. But to me, when I'm playing that, always is the key is to count out one, two, three, four. At that point there, when I come back, back into another verse, because it's going verse, then a chorus, back to a verse, and then another chorus, which is played exactly the same. There's no changes whatsoever in that section there. But when we come out of the second chorus, then we are into the guitar solo, which is played as a dual harmony. What I'm going to do on this lesson, we're going to feature the main harmony, which is played by Dave Murray. On my premium channel, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to play the dual harmony. So I'm going to show you uh, what Dennis Stratton was playing on that. But let's check out this first lead solo break.
Well, I hope you've been enjoying the lessons so far. So why not take the opportunity right now to hit that like button? Give it a smash and really help this channel grow. Another thing I've noticed, a lot of people have been watching all of these lessons on my channel, but haven't subscribed. Why not do me a huge favor right now? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. That way you'll also be notified whenever I'm posting any new videos to this channel. Anyway, I've finished with my plugs. Let's get back to the lesson. So what I'm going to do is I will play it through and then I will break it down. So it goes like this. Uh, it does take some work, so it does. Uh, now, this part of the solo, he's playing over, he's playing in an E Dorian mode uh, because he's now changing, he's, he's playing a C sharp in the scale. So we are just running down an E Dorian. The main bulk of the song is written in E minor. I've been playing an E chord, but the solo is played over an E Dorian. So we have a C sharp when we're moving down there. Uh, if it's just played in E minor, you just have the F sharp, but it does include the C sharp in this one. Now, it is also played in triplets, so we've got to get this triplety, 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 triplety feel. Now, I'm playing it one way. I have looked at various videos and tried to see them playing it live. It's very hard to spot what they're doing. There are different interpretations of playing this, but the main thing at the end of the day is to play the right notes. doesn't matter if you're playing it upside down as long as you're playing the right notes. So what we are playing here, we are taking an A, G to an F sharp, which is 14, 12, 11. And that's your first triplet. Now, when I was playing this and I was working it out before I put the slides in, the same as I said to all my students, play it slowly and pick the notes, first of all, to get the feel. So I'm playing, fifth, uh, I'm playing 14, 12, 11. Then I'm going to play 12, 11, and then, then moving down to the 9. Then 11, 9, 7. 9, 7, 6. That's that C sharp. Then I have got 5, 6 to the 4. 4, 6 to the 2. Now... You can play this part slightly different, but I'm doing a four to an open string. And then finishing up on the four on the D string. So when I was putting this together, I was just going. Okay. So first of all, I would get that, get that line down, get comfortable with it. But then because of the speed and you're going to get that kind of movement out triplety 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 i start to connect them with a slide like that so got that last one's a pull off there and then you can get a to get that motion when I was playing it. If you want, you could pick them as long as you can get that triplet feel. That's your first one. The next one, we are going to be moving up to the high E string, and we are playing 14, 12, 10 for that one. Okay, I just wanted to double check that. Now the next part, we are starting on 14, 12 to the 10. Uh, remember, we've got a C sharp, so we're gonna play a 12, 10 to the nine. 10, 9 to the 7. 
nine, seven to the five. Then we have got seven, five to the three. Then five, three to the two. Then three to the open. Finishing on the three on the B string. So. And we repeat. Now remember when I said when you do the slide. First one we play that all the way through. The second one we go all the way down to the. Then it repeats that line twice. So we do a three, two, all to the three on the B twice. Now the next one, we're going to play the three, two, all. We're going to blow. We put that in. And then back to the three to the open. Like that. So two sections, two complete rundowns where you're playing across the G string, then you move to the high E string, play all the way down. Second time, play all the way down so you get to the three, two, zero, you play the three, two, zero. And finish like that. And that takes you to the end of the solo section. Coming out of the solo, we have just got this section where we just mute in the strings and uh, then we got a quick five triplet lick at the end of it. We're going to call this riff number B. You'll see that on the sheet music. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you're going to repeat that whole section. You're actually going to play that line with the, the, the triplet at the end. That gets played four times. So I just played that two, so you'd play the whole thing again. What am I doing? I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, and that's played over three bars. So that one and two and three and four, one bar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now the triplet line. I'd seen various tabs on this, but I found the easiest way to get these triplets that we're playing is to play on the G string. You're going to play triplet on the nine, triplet on the five, down to the four, and then you've got a quick slide up to the eighth fret on the B string. So if you put that together, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four. And you get that part of riff B. Coming out of that, you're going to go and play another one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two. Then you've got from the C to the D. And that takes you out of that section. Coming out of that section, then we play through another chorus. Then we get into the first of the two changes. Uh, the first one is going to be known as Riff C. So I'll play it through. And I'll break it down for you. So it goes like this. Okay. Fairly simple. Uh, what we're doing now, we're going to start off on the E5 chord. We're going to play a down up like that. That's the first one. That's the easy one. Though. You should just do that. One. Then we're going to play on the AND of that bar, we are going to play a D and then come back into that on that one, so you get it. So we get... Of course, that being the upstroke, because it's being the AND of the four, so you get one, so you get that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. And then you're going to play that one twice. Then we're going to do a C, uh, sorry, a B5 to a C5. Doing that. So you get, again, the up on the B. 
onto the C. And then we're going to do an up on the C, going to the five, uh, going to the five fret, which is the D. And then back. So that final part. And then we repeat, because obviously we've gone that We're back into the start of that loop. Now that's going to be over a four bar loop. So we play that in its entirety, then we repeat the whole thing again. From there, what we're going to do, riff, riff D, is the same sequence as far as the chord playing is concerned. But we're going to put this little riff in between it. So we get this, we get... like that so first of all you're going to master riff c get that sequence down and then you've got to put in that little line now that is starting on the b string you're doing a seven hammer on to the eight and back to the seven then we cross over and we play g9 and then back to the b7 so if i do that slowly see that phrasing Course, then you bite. From there, we go back and we do another verse, like normal, we do another chorus. Then we have a change of chorus play. Uh, now, I'll play it through and then again I'll break it down for you. So it goes like this. <laughs> Okay, that was two loops through. You're going to actually play this in total four times. If we play there, we're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to move from the E, one, two, three, four. And then we do E to, uh, let, in fact, let's just call it from the fret numbers. They're all power chords here. This is going to be easy for you. So it's going seven, seven, ten, ten, twelve. Then we get two, three. Seven. So it's one, two, three, four. And you're going to play that, that whole rump when you start. So. Going back to that E5, that is the start of the next run. That's that opening bar. So it's a, it's a four bar loop just going round and round. And you're going to play that four times. So it's like a double chorus that you're playing through that section. So now we're going to have a quick look at the outro. And the outro is just the first part of the guitar solo and then finish with a couple of strange unison bends. So it goes like this. <laughs> So normal run. That's usual run down there. But now then unison bends, you're going to put your first finger on the ninth fret on the B string and your third fret, third finger, on the eleventh fret on the G string and do a full tone bend. You're going to do that twice. Move up two frets, so you're doing eleven on the B, thirteen on the G. And that's the end of the song. Now, I've only looked at uh, what is being played by Dave Murray. Of course, Dennis Stratney is playing some harmony sections in there, and they will be covered, and they will be available on my premium channel. Also, all of the tablet chip will be available on the premium channel with a guitar profile on that. And I probably will put together, and uh, just working on it at the moment, a backing track with the vocals, minus the guitars, obviously. So you can play along uh, with the song itself. So that will all be available very, very shortly on the premium channel. But I do hope you've enjoyed working through this really is a fun song to play by me uh running free obviously it was a single as well 
Um, if you do like the lesson, don't forget, hit that like button. Smash that like button now. That really does help the channel. And if you've enjoyed the lesson and you haven't done so before, why not hit that subscribe button? I've noticed 70% of people are viewing the lessons on the channel, but they are not subscribed. So why not take that opportunity now? Hit that subscribe button. Make me a happy person. Anyway, until the next lesson, this is Jeff Sinker wishing you well, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Until then, goodbye.